ungratefulness towards our teachers and our fellow practitioners, even teachers to students, could lead to a painful downfall. I'm not being dramatic about this. There is a meditative significance about this issue. Probably this is the most neglected of the many aspects of the practice. Our emotions, our thoughts. Blockages are not just physical, really. They're not all energetic, even. Deeply rooted trauma, subconscious issues, if we keep them, if we keep entertaining them without as sorting them, yeah, could disrupt the mind. Just think about this situation. Yeah. Imagine a happy place where we all just give and share, yeah, smile, Think about your favorite movie, a happy movie, and then suddenly your mental situation changes, right? That's how powerful yeah, the mental and the emotional and the psychology is. So we can just surrender after all our sacrifices, our hard work, there's nothing else to do but just to pray. Yes, the techniques are there, for example, the nada. But if your mind is so, well, caught up you know, with that heaviness towards another person, for example, it will always enter and then uh, sabotage uh, your meditation. Just a simple habit of saying thanks after every class. Yeah. That's why we say namaste, right? What namaste is for if we just say it for the sake of doing it technically. The Shanti Mudra, inhaling, exhaling, There is a purpose or a significance be behind all of this. And it's just not like lifting your breath up or saying namaste, yeah, feeling it. Yeah, the inspiration. Yeah, and then <laughs> just really just be very thankful for the opportunity to learn and practice. Yeah, yeah. think about that. Yeah. We're here seeking and asking questions. We might be the most advanced when it comes to pranayama, holding our breath for many minutes until we pass out and still it's not happening. Probably it's not that. Probably it's here. Probably it's here. Assess the life you're tackling. Assess the life you are living. If you're holding grudge, envy, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Really, it's not gonna happen. Trust in yourself and don't compare because there will always someone there better than you, trust me. And then who knows that person is even struggling in other aspects of their lives. So every time you receive an information, every time you receive something from someone, say thank you. Especially to your teachers. Your teachers sacrifice a lot. Yoga is not the most lucrative and financially fulfilling job or vocation, yeah. but your teacher chose to be with you and stay with you and guide you throughout. Yeah. 
the monetary I say exchange you give to your teacher is <laughs> really nothing. Yes, that, that helps the teacher sustain the requirements of the material aspect of the practice of teaching. Yeah. But it's not it, it can't compare to the sacrifices and the hardship, the trials that they face to be able to guide you safely. Think about that. Really think about that. I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.